What's happening, Fish and Friends? Welcome to another episode. If you haven't already heard, all the post-Thanksgiving Day sales are here, and uh, that's what we're here to talk about. I've been getting bombarded with questions. Debo, what jig should I get? What trailers do you use? Do you have a good rod and reel recommendation? So I picked my top 10. 10 picks, things that I think you should pick up now. Uh, of course, the Tackle Warehouse still has the Black Friday sale going on until Tuesday the 27th, right? There's certain things that are 20% off, some things are 30% off, uh, and I kind of put together a little list of things. I'll leave everything linked below. But stuff that I have really liked this year, uh, gear that I've tested, I believe in, and other lures that I think a lot of people will be picking up. So you might want to grab them before they're gone. But enough yapping, let's grab it number one. It happens to be the Mini D from Missile Baits. Now this is one I showed this in an unboxing not too long ago when I picked up a bunch of the Missile Baits stuff. I've talked about it on a couple lives. This is what it looks like. So it's a smaller trailer. Now originally I picked these up for finesse jigs. I was thinking uh, this should look pretty good. And by golly, it does look pretty dang good. But they've got two large. I guess claws or appendages you can call them back here they have the little flanges so you know those are gonna kick um, you know real well on the back but they look really good on a finesse jig here's another one with the green pumpkin on the back and then the orange on the bottom looks uh, super tasty that's one of the Randizzle specials the War Eagle heavy finesse jigs those are also on sale but um, it also looks really good on the back of a chatterbait this is one of those z-man cross eyes love these for bank fishing it's got the wire guards here um, but looks really good on the back of this. I would trim up the trailer or uh, the skirt for it. So the trailer's got room to move, but looks really good on these. I've talked to a few people who have picked these up. Uh, a couple guys who have used them and had a lot of good luck. Those are 287 right now. I think this is going to be kind of a hot one um, to go out pretty quick. They've got some cool colors. I like the super bug. Green pumpkin with blue flake on top. Then you flip it around the bottom is black and blue. I really like those two-tone colors. So number one on my list is the Missile Baits Mini D, a little chunk trailer. Okay, lure number two, the Yozuri 3DB. This is a pencil bait, a topwater walking bait. And the first five picks, I've kind of broke them in half. The first five picks are all an additional 10% off. So uh, Tackle Warehouse has everything that I'm going for. These first five, 30% off. Some pretty dang gum good deals over there. But this is one that I've used for quite some time. It's a super easy pencil bait to walk. Um, has a good action on it and the sound. It's got more of a hard knocker in it, almost like the, uh, like a, Head and Super Spook Jr. That one knocker sound to it. And you know, when I'm thinking of a pencil bait for a lot of beginners, it can be kind of hard to walk the dog or to get the hang of that rhythm. But, but really it's just leaving slack in the line and working that rod, bop, 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 and bringing that tip back to where it's from. Walking baits aren't hard to get used to once you've uh, fished them a few times. Great way to target fish that are pushing bait when you see them busting on the surface. Uh, I mean, it's an awesome lure. Spring, fall, uh, something that I throw a ton. I've got a couple here. Again, this was from an unboxing not too long ago. Um, the bone color is awesome. I've actually never thrown this when it's like a holographic. It doesn't say the color on it, but it's like a holographic uh, kind of shiny see-through shad. Uh, if you can only pick one, I would grab the bone, but you know, a bluegill color or like a, a shiny reflective color is good on those summer days. So the Yozuri 3DB, that's only $4.79 right now. Usually those are like uh, eight bucks, something like that. So good deals. Okay, number three, let's switch gears here a little bit. Not a lure, but in fact, oh, those hooks are sharp, a rod. So I get asked all the time about a good crankbait rod. Um, this is the Okuma Guide Select Crank. So this is the seven foot. Last time I looked, they only had like three or four of these left, but I've actually got two different sizes of these. This is the seven foot medium, and I also have the six foot I don't know where I put it, the six foot nine medium uh, that I use for jerk baits. You could use it for smaller crankbaits. This one I was using for like my half ounce crankbaits. This is uh, like about a half ounce lipless I've got on here. One of my Debo painted customs. Uh, but awesome little crankbait rod. You know, when I first picked it up, I think they're like 150 something dollars uh, regular. And I was like, ah, you know, I don't know. I wasn't too sure about it. It's become one of my favorites. If you don't want a crankbait rod that is super soft, super spongy, that feels like a pool noodle, um, this is what you go to. And this is what I fished. If you saw that video um, not too long ago, I was fishing. Actually, I just remembered I have that here. When I was fishing that Tequila Sunrise Rattle Trap, uh, this is exactly the combo that I was throwing it on. This this rod, this reel, everything. It's been a great rod for that because when you're working a, a, a lipless, trying to pop it out of grass, or if you're gonna yo-yo it, I personally don't like something super spongy because when you kind of get it caught in that grass, a crankbait rod that's just a little bit more backbone to it, you can pop it out of there easier. But 
when you get them hooked, this rod still has, you can sort of see, there we go. I'm bending that all the way down right here. That's definitely a cranking rod bending more down toward the middle of the rod. So this is rated for lures 3 16 to 3 quarter ounce. Um, I forget what the uh, the smaller one is. I should have grabbed that one too. What am I thinking? But again, I'll leave everything linked below. Both of these rods have liked. Right now, the reason I put this one on the list, it's on sale for 108 bucks. Like I said, regular, it's like 150, 160, something like that. So Okuma is also part of the 30% uh, the off on the warehouse of tackle. Okay, lure number four, again at 30% off, Nichols has their stuff at the 30% off as well. So if you're looking for a good all around jig, I was talking to somebody today, I forget who you were on Instagram, I'm sorry, um, but they asked Debo, do you only fish like swim jigs, swimming them, or are there other like flipping and pitching jigs that you can swim as well? Well, this is one that I used to throw a lot back in the day. This is the Nichols Impact flipping jig, but you notice that head, it almost looks more like a swim jig head. So when you look at it straight on there, vertical line tie so it comes through vegetation well but with that nose turned up like that it comes over wood well and that's what i always threw these on uh you know was just flipping and pitching wood fine wood pitch to wood um that's how i fished this this is the hematoma my favorite color that they put out black and blue does extremely well here in iowa uh you all know i'm also a sucker for black and purple i forget what color this is it's their black and purple color i like that one too two of my absolute favorite colors but the Nichols Impact flipping jig, you can flip it and pitch it around wood. Um, you can swim it back, you know, after you throw this, especially with like a rage crawl, and swim that back to you and it's got all kinds of action. It's still got a nose up design so you can come over stuff. It does well uh, kind of in that all purpose jig category. It's got a good stout hood on it, hook on it, but it's not something super crazy. This is not that, I just fished this on like a stouter medium heavier. You could throw it on like a heavy if you're going with a, I think this is like a half ounce. I usually throw that on a heavy. So something to think about, it's a great all around jig. Uh, Nichols throws out some good jigs, some good colors. So that is the Nichols Impact Flip 287 right now. I think those are regularly like four or something. 287 for one of those, pretty dang good deal. Okay, lure number five. This is the last lure in the 30% off. Uh, again, I've been talking about deals and trying to help you all find good stuff. I am gonna do a giveaway too. So I've got a Tackle Warehouse shirt here. This is a large, large shirt. And then I'm just gonna put a few of these, some of these lures and other stuff together in a box and send out to one of you. So all you need to do is comment below and say, I wear a large shirt or enter me in the giveaway or I'd like some lures, whatever it is. I'm trying to give back to you all. Did a super fun giveaway the other night on the live. Uh, I'm gonna be doing another one Saturday. Actually, that'd be tonight. Later tonight, when you see it tonight, will be Saturday. So watch out, I'm gonna be doing another live, talking some more, who knows what, and I'll do a giveaway. But uh, number five on the list at the 30% off is the X-Zone Adrenaline Cross. So these are normally five something. 359 right now. So again, these were in just a recent unboxing I did. So the Adrenaline Craw Jr. So what this is, it, uh, it reminds me of the uh, the Zoom, I forget it was, Z Craw or something like that. It's got these two legs on the end, kind of your claw looking deals here, that again, have those flanges. So they're gonna cup, catch water, have a really good action in back. So I was actually talking the other night about putting these on a swim jig. Uh, these are a couple do it swim jigs that I made. You can rig it horizontally like this, so they're just kind of flapping them back, laying flat. Helps it come over wood and stuff, such. Again, that's a tip I got from Tin Horse Monty. Helps it come over wood, or you can rig it vertically. So again, this is the same thing, one of the swim jigs that I made. But you can rig it straight up and down like that, so it looks more like a fish swimming through there. And it kind of reminds me of kind of a little bit bigger version of the Rage Menace. This is a, a Menace Junior, so you can kind of see the Adrenaline Craw Junior versus the Menace Junior. Definitely more action on this, bigger claws, a lot more movement back here. So it just depends what you want, if you want that smaller, subtle, or if you want something with a little bit more kick. But they look absolutely awesome in the water. I took them out the other day. I was testing out a new combo. I don't know where I put that somewhere. Didn't catch anything because it was super cold, but um, the Adrenaline Craws I really like. And you wouldn't necessarily have to uh, put these as a trailer. You can just flip and pitch this. It's so narrow. There's not a bunch of appendages on it. This would come in and out of wood really well grass and they make a couple of these sizes uh, this is the new three and a half inch the smaller size they've got a bigger size as well all the x-zone stuff is 30 percent off so not only this but go check out my x-zone video i just unboxed a whole bunch of this stuff uh, really a fan they've got a bunch of cool colors this is one of my absolute favorite colors it's called purple shadow again that black and purple oh that thing looks tasty okay item number six now this is not a lure notice i said item we're back to the rods so i get a lot of questions on good 
budget rods. So the Lose stuff right now is 20% off. It's not 30, but still getting a good deal. This is the Lose TP1X. I've tested this out for the full year. Big fan. I'm going to do a full review on this. You'll still notice I have the old Corrado D on here. That was the day I was throwing that six cents clout and caught a ton of bass. Lose TP1X uh, on Tackle Warehouse now. These are 79 bucks, so $80, 20 bucks off. And they've been a solid stick. Uh, you know, a lot of people ask me for recommendations on budget stuff. I've got another budget item here because, you know, not everybody has the money to spend $200, $300, $400, $500 dollars on a combo. I get it. I live paycheck to paycheck for a long time, you know, just scrapping to get by. Um, you know, now I've got, you know, more kind of side money from YouTube. I buy gear, put it back in the channel and try to do things that are going to help out all of you. Recommendations, testing stuff. I'm a gear nerd, so it's fun for me to finally be able to pick up some of this stuff and help y'all. But the Lose TP1X has been a solid stick. I've got two different versions of it. This is the uh, the seven foot. It's a seven foot medium power, fast action, rated for lures, one quarter up to five eighths of an ounce. And I've really liked that one. And then in my jerkbait videos, uh, most recently you just watched me put that. That's that I'm a flit to use and catching, it was a 50 bass day on the smaller version of it. This is a six foot eight medium light, fast action, one eighth up to one half ounce. So again, six eight, it's smaller for working a jerk bait, top water, especially if you're a bank angler, those shorter rods really helps so you're not hitting the ground or hitting rocks out in front of you. You can kind of get away with a longer rod on a boat because you're up above the water, but um, bank fishing or even kayak fishing, uh, a smaller rod like this helps. And I actually just thought about it. I haven't done a review on this either. This is the Okuma Serrano. Um, it is a graphite frame reel, but those are 30% off. I don't know if Tackle Warehouse has any more of those. I think regularly they're like 88 bucks, something like that. So those should be 30% off as well. Oh, I didn't even notice. This does say jerkbait topwater on the uh, the deal of it there. But I like the rod a lot. So if you're looking for a good budget rod, 80 bucks right now, the TP1X, uh, as long as you're okay with a white rod. Some people don't like white rods. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care about matching. I got a white rod with a black and blue reel. What do I know? Okay, item seven. Now, I know this is the combo. Tackle Warehouse doesn't sell the combo. They just sell the reel. But the reel is really what I would recommend. This is the Abu Garcia Max X reel. It's kind of their new reel taking over where the, uh, the Black Max left off. Of course, the Black Max was an awesome budget reel. So many beginners started out with that. Um, and the reel itself, I have been really impressed with for a budget reel. And I remember it is carbon frame or, uh, you know, graphite frame and side plates. So it's not... An aluminum reel, and again, not everybody can afford that higher price stuff. You see kind of the, the gear snobs out there that say, well, if you use anything besides Shimano, you're an idiot. Get what you can afford first and foremost. First, first and foremost? First and foremost, that's why I'm doing that list, some things on sale. So this is the Abu Garcia Max X. They were sold out of the right-handed versions, um, but the left-handed version of this right now is on sale for $43.99. I suppose you could buy a right-handed and get it on uh, back order. Hopefully they'll have some December, January, I don't know, but um, it's a good casting reel. It was easy to adjust. It's just magnetic brakes, and I'm gonna be doing a full breakdown review on this, the whole combo. The reel, or the uh, the rod I didn't care for, uh, but the reel was a great budget reel. So again, at uh, at 44 bucks essentially for that, uh, it's a good deal. I liked it, or just remember, it is a graphite frame and side plate reel, but Look for a good budget option, I would not blink an eye at uh, recommending that. Okay, item number eight. I've still got a bunch of these from a long time ago when I ordered. These are a Tackle Warehouse exclusive. You can only get them over there. Uh, the Z-Man Custom. Now these used to come with, I don't does this even say, I think they used to all be three-aught hooks. I noticed when I was out there looking at them today, they have different hook sizes. Uh, Four-aught and I think actually five-aught on some of them, if I remember right, but these are on sale for $5.59. I think regular, these are like eight bucks. Uh, they're very close to the Chatterbait Elite, uh, which you can get other places. Like I said, the Customs only at, you can see they're only sold at Tackle Warehouse. But great value. These have worked good for me. A lot of faith in them. Uh, I've got a few different colors here. They've got like the white Threadfin Shad. That's your kind of typical bluegill, green pumpkin, blue, orange. There's a black and blue flake, which does come with the black blade. But a little bit smaller compact profile, which I liked. Um, 3 8 ounces is what I've always thrown in these put a smaller, more compact trailer on, and I think they do really well in those small ponds, smaller lakes, where you don't really want a big, huge, crazy profile vibrating jig. But I mean, these have taken the market by storm, chatterbaits, you know, um, everybody's throwing them, and for good reason, they work, you know? So grab them now while you can on sale. Uh, that's what I did a long time ago, stocked up. I've still got probably, I don't know, eight or 10 of these uh, over here in the box. But again, $5.59, uh, and they do come in the different hook sizes uh, and weights and such, which is 
pretty cool. I think that's the first they've done that. All right, item nine. So this is one that I've thrown for a long time. This is the old version of it. This is the Cumberland Underspin, and these come in a two pack. Uh, so this is the old version. They've updated it. It's now the uh, the Cumberland Apex Underspin. This is like your bluegill color with the gold blades and the white and chartreuse there. Big fan of these. They come in the two pack. Right now, those are five seventy five. So that would be like what two. 88, 288 each uh, for a two pack of those. So you're getting 288 each. A lot of the uh, the underspins out there are seven dollars for one of them, six something for one. So the fact that you get a two pack, they've worked well for me. The blades don't break off on them. I've shown these before in unboxings. There was the video earlier this year uh, when I was testing out that zillion and the TF. I think it was the TFO rod. Testing that out, throwing one of these. I like to go with the quarter ounce if I'm fishing shallow. Uh, if I'm going with, like, with a big paddle tail that has a, lo a, a lot of thump, I'll go up to like a three eighths. But usually I'm going with quarter ounce. You can see both of these are quarter ounce here when I'm fishing shallow from the bank. That's usually my go-to. But great action on them. Uh, caught that, Again, that was another 50-some fish day. That day was ridiculous. We left early. Uh, we went to another spot to try to catch more fish. Don't leave fish to find fish. We could have probably got... I don't know, because it was like every few casts there for a while. It was like fish, fish, fish. It was insane. But uh, all it was was a simple little underspin and a paddle tail on it. Big fan of those. I've thrown them for a long time. The Cumberland Apex underspin. Again, you get a two-pack in those. And last but certainly not least, we're going to end with a spinning rig. Now, this is the spinning reel. I don't think the St. Croix, this is on a St. Croix Triumph. I don't think their stuff um, falls under the actual sale. The Daiwa stuff, when you go to check it out, uh, when you put it in your cart, it's not going to reflect the 20% off. Uh, for me, like I pay with PayPal, when you go to PayPal and actually go to the PayPal spot to pay, it'll reflect the 20% off. It's kind of weird. It's like this shadow discount thing. Some companies are weird. You can't like advertise the discounts. I guess that's what Daiwa and Shimano. Uh, but Daiwa and Shimano are both on the Tackle Warehouse sale. They'll both be under the 20% off. Um, and a good budget pick is this, I have been really happy with the Daiwa Laguna. Now I have the 2500 size, yeah. 2500 size, when I checked earlier, they had a bunch of these in. If you want a 3000 size, I think it only said they had two of those available. You can see good smooth rig, 32 bucks on sale for a super solid reel. I have really liked this as a spinning rig. Um, now again, it is the carbon you know, frame deal. So it's not an aluminum, uh, you know, spinning rig. So this isn't something you're going to want to take in the salt water and catch 20 pound stripers or whatever the heck it is. But for bass fishing, like I do uh, in ponds and small lakes, it has a good drag. And that's the big part for me. As long as it has a good smooth working drag, I'm not as concerned about this because I'm not fighting the full power of the fish on the arm of the, uh, the spinning reel. So I have liked it. I've had a bunch of questions on this one. The Daiwa Laguna, I got the 2500 size. It has fit perfect on like a seven foot. What is this? This is a seven foot medium light. This is the exact rig I was throwing that finesse. I don't have one here. That little finesse swim bait with just a regular, it was a Cumberland little round ball jig head. Works awesome in the fall, ponds, lakes. Don't care where you are, fish will eat a little paddle tail. They're daggum fish catchers. So that's exactly what I was throwing it on. Good combo for me. So comment below and let me know, are there any special buys uh, at Tackle Warehouse or anywhere else that you'd like people to know about or me to know about? I picked up a few things here and there, uh, but I really wanted to share with all of you. So comment below and let me know your thoughts. Now today's subscribe fish and friend goes to my guy, Mr. Bass, a good supporter of the channel. We did like a tackle swap uh, not too long ago. I know he's doing some Black Friday deals. He's doing a bunch of giveaways. And I appreciate good people like that um, who give back to the community, who do the giveaways, who you know, it's not like a job for them. It's not like they're up on some pedestal above everyone. Just regular working guys who who love to fish and such. So, Mr. Bass, I appreciate you, dude. I appreciate everybody else who has supported me. Um, you know, purchased some of my lures from my custom shop. Picked up some of my Monster Bass boxes. I had uh, some of those. I think I've still got some available. But I appreciate everyone. So, uh, thank you all. Hopefully the list helps with the discounts, the amounts, uh, stuff that I have used. Uh, stuff that I have liked uh, and recommend. It's not just random things I'm going to throw out there. So that's enough for me. I need to edit. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time.